So there's all our information for number nine. To graph it, we use it in reverse order. So D is up two. Be careful where you put two, right? Because that's only the, the midline. That's like the average value. You got to go up and down from that. So don't put two at the very top. Right pi over two. Oh, let's be careful here. Because I want to go right pi over two, but the period is pi. So I have to kind of keep those things in mind together. So I don't want to go too far for pi over two. There's my new starting point. period is pi, so I need to go pi away from pi over 2. So where will that land me if I start at pi over 2 and add pi? So that would put me at 3 pi over 2. Now, make sure you put that on the graph correctly. If this is pi over 2, then 3 pi over 2 is not right next to it. It's certainly not to the left of it. So 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. And I'm going to put another little new origin there because <coughs> every ending is a new beginning. And then lastly, amplitude is 3, but it's flipped. It's also a cosine, so I might should have done this at the beginning. The parent function cosine looks like that. So that's kind of my starting point. Now I want to fit that in between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. All right, normally we start at a max for cosine. What are we going to be starting at here? Why are we starting at a min? Because it's flipped. So I'm going to go 3 away, right in the middle of the label there. 3 down, that puts me at negative 1. And wherever you start is also where you finish. So over there at 3 pi over 2. So that's the two endpoints, the beginnings or the endings, however you want to phrase it. <coughs> Halfway in between, cosine is normally at a minimum. What's going on on this one? Yeah. A maximum because it's flipped. So how do I locate the maximum? Three from the midline. So one, two, three. So that put me at five. That's the halfway mark. And what about halfway between the max and the min? What's going on there? Is that a max, a min, or a zero? A zero, although when we say zero, what do we really mean? A midline, I guess I should just start calling it that. Max, min, or midline. All my M's. That's halfway. I don't need to label what that is. But let's see, that would be by pi over 4. So. so there's my first cycle of cosine. It's been flipped been stretched, it's been moved up, and it's been moved to the right. If you could graph that one, you could graph any of them, because like every possible um, translation has happened to that one. Like A, B, C, and D all have values that do something to the graph. Got it? Right, I also want to graph sketch at least two periods. So I need to back up and graph another period. If I start at pi over 2 and go backwards pi, where does that land me? Uh, negative, negative pi over 2. So if this distance was pi over 2, then maybe about right there is negative pi over 2. And now I'm just going to copy, sort of copy paste that picture. It begins and ends at a minimum. Halfway in between is at a maximum. Halfway in between there, it's on the midline. There we go.
Uh, oh, there's an extra question down there. The maximum value of G is 5. Yeah, that's an easy question as long as you graphed it correctly. <laughs>